So let's start out this this podcast episode with the thing that we really need. Okay, gaming is dying, which is a different po- podcast. But let's start off by saying that, right? Gaming in, in, in of itself needs a change. That's also another podcast episode. We're just getting into a lot of podcast episodes right now, but the essential vision of this podcast here, this this episode, is that we need gaming to head in a certain direction. And I think a lot of people, if not most of the community, can agree with me here. We need a game that is pretty much going to be its own game, right? So it's going to have its own almost like universe and i and i think ai is going to help with that but anyone remember let's the watch video this that really i made on really this superman understand. inspired game might be a little loud sorry guys let's bring that down a little bit this world and actually showed and proved to big gaming studios that a superman game is 100 percent possible you don't need a massive infinite world and a ton of gameplay features to create an actual proper superman game just a team that is motivated enough to create gameplay features that look look at that love, like that was cool superman, right watch this this isn't actually a superman game i i, I don't think it. i mean superman doesn't have those abilities that that ability he has this ability but not, not the other one so yeah there is so much potential with a game like this yet no one is doing it look, look look at this showcase though like two or three years ago yet it was canceled by Warner Bros games the destruction physics squad killed the justice league which no one really likes are they actually scared of failing well this small in the you can fly into shit and break it which is like realistic if you were superman of copyright strikes from Warner Bros and they really want to mess with it no one is making a superman game even after insane demand so they really wanted to create this well to be clear of copyrights they have completely overhauled the game they're they're working on while keeping the features superman fans will love introducing unrestricted which was revealed at matches game expo unrestricted huh un 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 under development you know Unrestricted is a love letter to fans of Superman and any other hero, <clears throat> aka Dragon Ball, that have superpowers and fights big monsters. The new look at it as well. This is my first time watching this too, just FYI. Amazing. And for a small indie studio, this is really, really surprising. So let's get into it. Unrestricted will bring in a diverse world with a destroyed city where different kind of angry monsters have took refuge. Far away on another planet, there is a civilization which is way more developed and advanced than planet Earth. A massive explosion incident occurred on that planet and destroyed everything in its path. Buildings, roads, forests, and so on. I just want to pause it there for, for a second. I, I really want you to understand this, right? <clears throat> I'm like, I'm not really too keen on heights and I'm pretty sure I don't mind heights. I just don't mind. I just don't want to fall off a ladder. That's probably like my, like not fear of heights, but my uneasiness around heights. I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid of like heights. I'm, I'm afraid of falling. That's really what it is. So being able to fly in a video game, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that can get on board with me on this one. That, that what they just showed right there. If you fly in like over a street like two feet above like the ground and like over water and stuff like that and like watching the water like part as you go like to me that's so awesome like i'd love to fly in real life and do that like that being able to fly actually in real life that'd be so much fun like being in an iron man suit and doing that would probably be so much fun just just saying but anyway um i think that that's one of the coolest things that you could actually put in a video game is flying. That's also why I've also loved Superman games, like being able to just fly super quick and like go buy things and whatever else, like watch the physics go. It's pretty cool. But let's get back to, to, to the video more, you know, less about my personal things. Oh, I think I, uh, I went uh, backwards. I, pressing the number keys makes this go skip around a little bit. This is so cool. This is, the, this is awesome. Yourself as a human from Earth, which was mysteriously sent to this planet, you now have powerful abilities no other civilians has, and can change the fate of this world. The story already sounds a lot. Super, superheroes that that could they could fly, probably they're so much better than everyone else. With 
tons of different just like Ho homelander enemies waiting for you in all these different places you are also look at the fighting mechanics though it's pretty crazy with your abilities that look both damn like superman and dragon ball again you can do absolutely anything with it go through mountains destroy them destroy trees buildings and such throw some trees at some monsters and he's actually right though i'm surprised that they haven't made an actual superman game yet like a like a good one like like an open world Superman game like they made it it was like Superman Returns I believe and I played it it wasn't very good though big story nor does it look like a triple a game this is simply a passion project from a team this looks more like a um like game with the most gameplay features like an anthem like a looter shooter type type of game almost it's kind of what it looks like it's got a lot of similar mechanics I don't play lo looter shooters that much just FYI I, I'm usually playing in FPS games. Or in, in this studio will make one by themselves. Also, if you didn't know, these devs have been working on this game for a really, really long time now. It's also been a prototype, right? Unrestricted was a prototype before it was revealed. It was called Undefeated, which it has a free demo on Steam. Draw penis. Draw you know, penis. Some of you might Damn it. Have on on Just Steam a circle. Boring. On Steam for being a Superman oh, he's doing it. He's doing a, yeah, probably a smiley so face. Actually, everyone played it. It was a little bit like Superman, but still, it's not a triple-A game, but it has a lot of awesome gameplay features. You might have played this, and now Unrestricted is the game they've always dreamed of working on, and it is their main game at the moment. This is also being made by a studio not from the Western market, so they're not limited to anything, and they don't want to include any message in it. So let me know what you all think of this game, and like the video right now for more on it, and of course, subscribe. So, by the way, uh, this this guy's name is Matt, Math Chief, the best of gaming so if you guys haven't checked him out go on youtube and check him out um but i really wanted to um kind of address you know the the um the vision for what gaming has to go to now this is just a genre of gaming all right now obviously call of duty and stuff like that it's way different there's like a different you know atmosphere for it uh but um I think gaming needs to head in a direction where destruction physics, um, not only that, not only destruction physics, but um, kind of like open world, you know, like that kind of stuff. That's the stuff that we really need to see. I feel like that that's really going to bring us to a new level. Um, I don't think that gaming is really going to be... Um, so cut and dry like a lot of these big corporations are trying to make it um there's one i forgot what the name of the the um the developer was but uh i think it's like a toy it's like a toy soldier game um actually i'm, I'm gonna give them a shout out on this podcast because i did kind of like them <sighs> i'm probably not gonna be able to find it uh let me see if I can find it on TikTok. Give, I'll give you their 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 TikTok. Um, um, their their TikTok handle. You guys can go see them if you want to. Uh, let's see. Hypercharge. Hypercharge. That's the name of the game. Okay, so the the developer, let's go let's go to number four here. So it's called Hypercharge. That's the name of the game. Um, Wave based shooter. That's pretty cool. Um, and who is who is there? Who who created it? I'm trying to I'm trying to give you guys a shout out. Why is it so goddamn hard? Digital Cyber Cherries. Interesting name. Interesting name. Anyway, um, so <laughs> they're called uh, Digital Cyber Cherries, and their their game that they've been working on for a while is called Hypercharge, and it's kind of like a little toy soldier type of um, type type of game. So this, this, I really want this podcast to really focus around people that are actually working on like passion projects, and that are actually working towards like making a better uh, a better future for gaming. Um, a lot of these big corporations and you can see from my last episode of the SM2 thing, like anyone that's trying to do a, 
you know, a good game and something that's trying to like make something that's actually going to make a change and actually going to be fun. I feel like a lot of corporations are like, we can't have that. So they're going to try to find a way to there's, there's, there are definitely corporations, definitely people out there that a hundred percent have had this happen. And, um, they just, they, there are corporations out there that just sue people just to get them out and get rid of competition and get rid of the fun and everything. Okay. Uh, just as a, just as a quick example, let me see if I can find my, my buddy, um, one, one, one of my YouTuber friends, he, um, go to my channel. Uh, his, his name is magnates Me media. If, if you haven't already checked him out, it's all, uh, that's mostly, you know, this is not, he's not really for gaming. He's mostly, um, he's mostly, um, where's my stuff? I got so many things. Oh my God. Uh, there's so many tabs now. Like it's kind of getting a little overwhelming home videos, shorts, live podcasts, playlists, community channels about that's crazy. Anyway. So, um, <coughs> if you haven't already go on this and like this, <coughs> just get out to as many people as possible, but Mag magnates meet media. Um, this, uh, what the hell's the guy's name? Alex, Ed Alex Edison or Edson. He is one of the people that, um, that is, uh, kind of those, you know, that try to just get rid of small YouTubers or upcoming YouTubers or whatever. It looks like he's paint he's pa he's painting himself quite a uh, he's painting himself into quite a circle uh, that he's not gonna be able to get 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 out of. So uh, I I don't I don't see this going well for him. Uh, I wonder if uh, his stuff six days ago six hours ago okay. So I'll update for you a situation on my channel later this week. In the meantime, Upper Echelon just posted a new video. So a lot of people are talking calling this guy out, which is good. So if you know if you know Alex Ed, Ed, uh, Edson, go on there and call him a piece of shit. Don't actually do that. I'm kidding. Maybe if you want to, I'm not condoning it though. I will. I also. I also. I, if you tell me that you did it and I and you find and you give me the proof, I may or may not. I'm getting myself into a deep hole here. A anyway, um, no. I. I. This. He's. He's. He's one of my good friends on um, Matt Magnates Media on on YouTube. So if you guys, you know, if you guys can help him out, go like his stuff. Like you know, share with your friends if they're if they're interested in like finance and business videos. He does really good stuff. So they're like mini movies. So um, you know, this it sucks. This is happening, but this is not. This is not just the only case. There's tons of people like Alex Edson that do this kind of stuff, and I feel like that. If gaming is heading in this direction of people just like trying to squash this the the things that actually mean something to us, um, this is going to be a rough time for the next ten to twenty years, if not even longer, depending on how long it takes for us to stand up. So at the end of the day, if you are willing to like stuff like this, like you know, like this, uh, like the you know the the hypercharge uh, SM two. Um, you know, the, the, this, that little Superman game prop project, you know, it, it, that's the stuff that's going to bring gaming into its next level. Not you buying Call of Duty or playing Warzone. Because at the end of the day, Warzone and Call of Duty, there's a bigger picture to this, which most people probably will think I'm crazy or not understand, which is fine. But big corporations are just going to take over the space. That's what's happening in tons of other places like vanguard and finance owns everything they own everything that's they're like they own like fucking 500 trillion dollars or whatever the hell it is or 50 trillion dollars which is like night which is like 80 percent of like the whole country's net worth okay so just keep that in mind uh or of the wealth in in the united states sorry that's a separate topic but this stuff trickles down into different at, into different areas. So, like, if you think it doesn't affect you, it's going to affect you some somehow, some way, and some time. So, stuff like this is something that I really want everyone to really understand and grasp the concept. And if you want to break it down into simple terms, you do not want large companies controlling what you consume or even what you, like, want to play. Especially in gaming. Like, you don't want that to happen. You want to be able to control what you are consuming. You want the people to control this kind of stuff because then it's just going to be a lot, a lot of garbage, which is again, what, what, what we've been seeing from games like battlefield, call of duty and stuff like that. Like ba battlefield's last hit ba battlefield, right? It's last hit was, uh, battlefield one, which is, which took place in world war one. That, that was their, that, that was their last hit in my opinion. Okay. I don't think that that battlefield five and battlefield 20, 24, 42 
was really that that good. They were both rushed games because they wanted to get them out and compete, which is not good, by the way. You want competition, but you also want people to take their time, okay? There there are tons of things in the Tesla space that, that, that are happening right now. I'm using these examples. Most of you probably won't understand the, the examples, which is I'm trying to give you a little bit of background on it. But like in Tesla, they have the Cybertruck, they have the Roadster, they have the Tesla bot, they have the Tesla phone. That's four major projects co- coming out. Now, their Cybertruck, they rele- they they um, uh, not released, but they, they did a demo of it, I don't know, two, two years ago now at this point, three years ago. We probably, to direct to consumer, the people that haven't pre-ordered it probably won't get it until 2026, okay? Now, my point to saying that is they are creating a product that is for the masses, that is good product, that's something that they are proud of, okay? That's why it's taking them so long. Call of Duty doesn't do that. Call of Duty just puts puts out the, the biggest copy and paste, the biggest piece of trash that they can every year or every two years, which I think they revoked that. Now it's going to be every, every, every year, year again, okay? So the same thing's just going to keep happening. There are big games in the space right now. Battlefield, Apex, Call of Duty, um, uh, Fortnite. Fortnite, by far, is doing the best right, right, right now. For, Fortnite is doing the best, okay? And that is saying something, okay? As much as I shit on Fortnite... I don't really want to play it, to be honest. I kind of want to see if I can make a game in it, in that new, like, Creator 2.0 thing, or whatever the hell it's called. Um, but, at the end of the day, Fortnite is actually making a difference, right? They're actually changing... They're, they're doing even what I said in my other po- podcast episode, was that they were keeping the stuff from, like, the whole game. Like, they're, they're not making a Fortnite 2, and then, like, pushing over, every, you know, and just not taking anything over to Fortnite 2, which is what Warzone did. Warzone 1, assets that you bought are not available in Warzone 2. Who knows what's going to happen with, 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 with Warzone 2? Are they going to make a Warzone 3 do the same thing? Or are they going to merge everything together and listen to, to, to the fans? If they are, it's going to take a while. It's going to probably be a few years before you get that, if you even do. Okay? So that's just something to keep in mind, too. So, at the end of the day, what I what I really want you to understand is that like people like hypercharge again, pe- 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 people that are, that are let me let, let me go back to that other Superman thing. Um, uh, I, it's it's actually called something something some, something different. I should I should I should call it some something different. Uh, where is it? I have to go back to it. Un un un, un unrestricted, right? So un un unrestricted is going to be the g- stop. Is going to be the game that um, you know is probably going to save a lot of people from tor- from torment. And I'm one of those people from that. I, I just need a different game, and I think that these these game developers that are actually trying to make a better game are actually going to make a better game versus the people that that are just going to try to make it try to do it for for money. And that's the that's one of the most important things that that I want everyone to understand. A lot of this is about money. Okay, and when it's about money, it's not it's not about making a good game for you anymore. It's about making as much money as possible to either sell the company or just to line their own pockets. Okay, and that's something that's something that I really want you to understand that there's there is no substitute for 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 that. If if a if a company, and especially the executives, are just about the money, that's all you're going to see. It's going to reflect the game, which is what we've been seeing again in the past couple of probably past 10, 10, 10, 10 years with, with, with call of duty. And I know a lot of you don't want to admit that. And, and, and a lot of you that are, that are original COD players are, they're not going to want to admit that. Okay. Cause you're, you're too stuck on the, on the nostalgia you want. You know that the next one's going to be better. The next one will be better. That's how crack addicts are. Just FYI. The last, next time is the last, next time is the last same shit. Okay. So at the end of the day, all these games are, are pretty much algorithms at this point, and then that's what they're doing. They're feeding us trash, and you're just consuming it. You're just eating it. You're eating the trash. That's what you're doing. A lot of the younger gamers probably won't understand this. I mean, I'm still kind of young. I think 30 is pr- pretty young. But, yeah, maybe, I mean, to a to a, to a, to a 21-year-old, I'm old as shit, but it's fine. That's I was at that point, too, in my life. Don't, don't worry. We're, we all get there. So once you get to be 30, you'll understand. Or once you get to be 40, you'll understand. Once you get to be 50, you'll understand. Trust me. Okay, I, I I don't know fifty yet, but tr- trust me, it happened when I was twenty. It happened when I'm thirty. I'm I'm gonna assume that the the pattern is, is gonna keep you know taking suit. So just understand 
that when you buy these games, know that you are fueling the 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 the, the trash monster spitter that 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 Call of Duty is. Okay, even Apex, they're doing the same shit. You know, you you ask to get something fixed in Warzone, and and they just they make a skin for it just to buy. You know, and it's at, after a certain point it was blatant, but now it's like you know. Fool me once, shame, shame, shame on you know, shame on you. <coughs> Fool me twice, shame, shame on me. Fool me three times, guys. Stop buying the fucking game. Stop, stop going on there. Stop playing Warzone. Stop buying skins. They don't care anymore. Okay, I I loved Call of Duty. I I'm not a fan of BRs, but I'll play them. Okay, I I tried to like BR so so bad, but I just could not do it. And you want to know what it was too? It was not only the, 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 the strict gameplay, which I've talked about in a different podcast too. It was I think it was the Dr. Disrespect podcast. I talked about this where I just don't like Battle Royals and I don't like how, how they're structured. I'm a simple gamer. Talk all the shit you want. I'm a simple gamer. I do not like to have to go into something and build up myself just to die. You know, that's why I did not like um like Ark and stuff like that. Ark survival. It's cool at first. And it's cool when you have all the shit, but it's like, it takes so long to get there. It's like, why would I want to build a house when I could just build a house in, in real life? Why would I want to play G- GTA San-, San Andreas? It was a fun game, but why would I want to work out to like look better when I could just do that in real life? Why can't I just go downstairs and go work out or go to the gym and work out? That's just the way that my mind works. Okay. You, your mind doesn't have to work like, like this. You don't even have to agree with me, but I... But I'm sharing this with you because it's just something to think about whenever you're playing these 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 games. Like you want to have a game that kind of brings you away from your normal everyday stress. And if a game stresses you out, then it's not fun. It's just stress. It's just more stress, which is why the United States is so stressed right now. Because we just we just go from being stressed to being stressed and then being more stressed. So stop. If the game isn't fun, which I I did the same thing for a while. I was always pissed at Call of Duty. Finally, the last Call of Duty that I bought was Cold War. And I just said, I just said I'm not buying another Call of Duty anymore. I'll play Warzone because it's free. But after the SM2 shit, I'm not going to play Call of Duty anymore. I'm sorry. And if you join this game, if you join this community with Call of Duty, I, I apologize. I loved I loved playing Warzone at, at like a lot of times, and I, and I actually enjoyed Warzone too. I enjoy Call of Duty. I enjoy the simplicity of it. That's like what what I need is simplicity. But constant lag issues. Con- like I have I, I have a gig of internet. I have a gig. My ping is under twenty. It's under ten actually, and I and I can't find a fucking game below eighty ping in in, in Call of Duty. It's not me. I'm sorry. It's not me. It's the game. I, I, I cannot find an under... And I'll say that again. I cannot find an under 80 ping game in Call of Duty. That is that is, that is is a lot. Like That is saying a lot. And we need to, we need to really acknowledge that. Okay? Because it's not said enough, I feel like. Because... It, it, that's crazy. Like Doctor Disrespect says says it a lot. I'll, I'll admit that he says it a lot. But like, I can't find a ping. I can't find a game under eighty ping. It's it's almost impossible. Even in Warzone, the first Warzone was the worst. Only having eighty FOV too was it was the worst. And now with the one twenty FOV, it's great. But like, the game had so many issues when Warzone two that it's like, why bother? Why bother even playing the damn thing? It, it's it's not you know I don't know I'm complaining whatever but at the end of the day I just really don't want you guys to fall into the same loop and I want change to happen I don't want to to and this this may be a selfish reason it may not be I don't want the the younger generation come coming into this just getting fed bullshit and then just taking it. Because even, again, even in my generation and even older than me that were playing the first COD, they're still eating shit at this point. And they're just getting they're just getting the new COD. Like, oh, it'll be different. It'll be different. It'll be different. No, it's not. It's still shit. It's not caviar. It's still shit. I mean, caviar is shit, but that's, that, that's not the point. They want us to eat their shit and call it caviar. That's what they want at the end of the day. And I'm tired of it, if I'm being honest with you. 
So we need to make this change. We need to boycott. We need to boycott Call of Duty. We we need to, as players, we need to, we need to boycott this stuff. This is this is sincerely me. This is me not acting. This is me truly coming down to saying to you guys, even the older gamers that watch this, you guys need to just make a change because if you don't, we're not we're not going to see games like 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 this like this this hypercharge like you know the um. You know the the un, the un, the unrestricted like we're not going to see games like this. Well, we will barely see them because the Call of Duty and any big corporation it just has the money to just throw at it. They'll just throw money at stuff. That's it. So all you'll see is the advertising for Call of Duty, for Battlefield, and all these other shitty games. And then we're all just going to think that this is what gaming is. No, this is what gaming is: a passion project, something that is fun, so, so, something that out of the box, no pun intended, is. Is going to be fun, and it's going to make a difference. It's going to be something that actually gets you, makes you want to play instead of just being stressed all the time. And I don't know, maybe some, maybe a lot, of, maybe a lot of you aren't stressed when you play Call of Duty. Great for you, but I can tell you, a lot of the videos I've been seeing on TikTok, a lot of videos I've been seeing on YouTube, people are just fucking stressed. There's rage compilations out there. I started watching Tim the Tap Man from his from his rage compilations. That was when I started watching Tim. Was his rage? That was it. I mean, yeah, it's funny, but it's like, like really, like the guy had to go to a, had to go to a doctor, and the doctor had to say, "Dude, you got to get up and stop yelling all the time, because you're gonna die." So it's like, what? He is thirty. He's thirty two now, thirty three. If you're twenty, you you continue down the same path as Tim, as me and Tim. The doctor's gonna tell you the same fucking thing when when you're thirty. So what do you think's gonna happen? I don't know. I, you know, I'm just, I maybe I'm just spewing old people shit. But at the end of the day, I, I really want you to, to know that this, this game, any, any game, like even indie developers are going to be the future. And if we don't create a voice for them, then we are going to be doomed as players, because it's all it's going to be is just corporate America controlling what, what we consume and what, and what we play. And th- that corporate America is going to be, you know, big corporations like Activision. Uh, EA. Um, I can't even. Remember. I can't even think of some of the big places. But those are the two big places. Like Nintendo, too. Even kind of. Um, Nintendo isn't bad though. I feel like Nintendo is still a pretty solid company with with values. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, just like the video. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. So if you did enjoy this podcast. Like the video, subscribe, share with your friends, you know, just do 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 whatever you can. And at the end of the day, I just really want you guys to, you know, bring this to the most attention possible because I don't want pe- people to be blind in the next 20 years being like, oh, I don't understand why gaming sucks now. It's like, well, you should have listened to me 20 years ago. Boycott. And that's where I'm going to end it.